We're ready. We have the equipment. We have the headquarter. We have the seamless organization allowing engineers, uh, tuners, technicians, marketers, <coughs> salespeople to work in an environment which is modern. And also, it's time also to go global. It's not only about Niso, Nismo concentrated in Japan and with some pockets of activities in the UK and the United States. It's really going global with Nismo. And, and we think we're ready. Technologically, we're ready. Organizationally, we're ready. We have the knowledge. And what we want is on top of supporting racing as an activity, we want to offer a product lineup uh, of Nissan cars, badge Nismo, which correspond to what people who are performance cars lovers want through the world. Like you can buy the Leaf Nismo, uh, you can buy the Juke Nismo, you can buy the GTR Nismo, and there are going to be other cars like this where you, know, you pick the car you want, and you pick the in a certain way the tuning the tuning you want, or you can go buy it ready for you in the showroom. You talk about enhancing performance. The GTR is certainly already a phenomenal vehicle. The Nismo GTR. Can you tell me a little bit more? What is going to improve? Well, you know, it, it's a GTR under the Nismo brand, so obviously you're going to expect a different design, uh, and you're going to expect a different tuning, and you're going to ex expect additional performance. If not, people would be disappointed. So it's already a superior car in terms of uh, as a performance cars, but 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 the Nismo uh, GTR is going to be, I would say, the the, the line of the jungle. And it's going to be really on top of everything we have offered so far. So I'm I'm very excited to see it coming to the market. You announced a return to Le Mans in 2014. How is that going to enhance our innovation and excitement for all? You know, I, I think uh, Le Mans is a big show. Uh, for uh, performance uh, and performance cars. So for us it's important because it's an opportunity to show some new designs or some new concept like Delta Wing big success uh, you know last uh, last year. Uh, but what's important also is you can't have a strong Nismo brand if it's not backed by uh, credible performance in racing. So we need to establish uh, racing events where uh, Nismo can show and Nissan can show not only that it can compete, but also it can win uh, races. You say in terms of Nismo, kind of bringing out the image of Nismo globally, certainly everyone in Japan is, is familiar with it. So how do you see Nismo enhancing sales and so forth for not only Nissan, but for the other brands, Datsun, Infiniti, and so forth? Well, uh, first, I think it's going to be concentrated on uh, Nissan, uh, because Nissan is about uh, innovation and excitement, and Nismo also bringing a lot of innovation and also bringing a lot of excitement. Um, so we need to market more Nismo in global markets, much more than what we're doing today. And uh, we also need to have a product offer that would really satisfy what people are looking for. And that's why I think with, the, for example, the launch of a Juke Nismo, uh, it's a double hit. First, it's going to promote Nismo. People are going to understand more what Nismo is about. And, and second, we're going to be uh, selling more juke, but particularly for this category of people who not only like the juke, but want a juke which is very performant.